everyone, welcome to the Trident Room. My name is Amy and today I'm going to teach you how to properly build a cocktail and then I'm also going to show you how to build two drinks off of our new specialty cocktail menu. First thing to remember about properly building a cocktail is proportion. So whenever you're building a drink at home, you're gonna to wanna to start with ice. It is the number one thing for all tasty beverages. But you also wanna make sure that you never scoop with a glass. Even if you're being careful, oftentimes little slivers fall off and they will either get into your ice container and or you'll end up cutting your lip with your glass. I always recommend either using an ice scoop, a metal shaker, or some other sort of means. Next up, you're gonna to wanna to pour your alcohol. For today's demonstration, I actually have um, some blue colored water. So pretend this is vodka. Whatever mixer we're going to add, we are gonna want to repack the ice. You wanna make sure that your drink is nice and topped off because like I mentioned, proportion is the number one thing. Once you add your mixer, you wanna make sure that the ratio of the vodka to the mixer is correct. As you can tell in this glass where I did not repack the ice, you're going to have three times the amount of mixer as the properly prepared drink, which is gonna completely change your flavor. Today I've chosen to make two vodka drinks because let's be honest, we probably all have a bottle of vodka in our cupboards. So first thing you're gonna do for our first beverage called a Moscow Mule, you're going to put some ice using your handy dandy ice scoop. You're gonna do an ounce and a half of vodka. Going to repack your ice. And then use your uh, choice of ginger beer. So for today, we're using the Fintimans brand. I personally am a big fan of Boondiver, but there are about a million different brands out there that you can use. So you're gonna to top that off with your ginger beer. And last but not least, you're gonna put two healthy squeezes of lime in the cocktail and then if you choose you may put one on the side for garnish for our next beverage we're actually going to be using a shaker my shaker of preference is a double metal one you can shake the heck out of this without ever worrying about breaking anything but i do realize that not everybody has one of those at home so i dug through my personal cupboards and all you have to do is find two cups that will fit together you wanna to make sure it does have a good air seal though because otherwise when you go to shake your cocktail, you're gonna get it all over yourself. And trust me, that is not fun. So this drink is called a Mandarin Martini. You're gonna take a healthy uh, shaker full of ice. You're gonna do about one and a half to two ounces of vodka. One ounce of peach schnapps a splash of Rose's lime juice. I do not recommend using fresh lime, although you can, but Rose's lime has a very specific flavor that's going to give a little bit of tartness to the beverage. And then also just about a one ounce splash of orange juice. You are going to put that lid on, give it a healthy shake. You want the flavors to mingle, but you also wanna make sure you're chilling the beverage so you have a tasty, frothy drink. Then, last but not least, you're gonna take your strainer and strain the beverage. I realize, once again, that not everybody has strainers at home. Another trick that's fun to teach yourself, especially for our upcoming parties we may have, is to pour the drink just using the two shakers. Last but not least, you're going to garnish that with your garnish of choosing. I personally like a half slice of orange. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy during this time. And I can't wait for you to come back into the Trident Room and see some fun things that we've been doing while we've been closed down. We've got an excellent new menu planned out for you, especially cocktail menu. We've even got some fancy new uniforms. So please uh, stay safe and we will see you soon.